Now, if you're like me and you're tired <laughs> of messes like these every single weekend, boy, we got a solution for you. an episode donation off-road so today we're going to be doing a first look at the all-new jp40 pro portable refrigerator from iceco now iceco has been making fridges for a long time and i've generally heard good things about their products the jp40 is something entirely new from them developed with portability as well as mobility in mind this portable fridge is currently in development with an expected launch date of july of 2022 currently you can pre-order the fridge on an indiegogo campaign hosted by iceco they have this model which is the jp40 as i said and then they also have the jp50 which is a little bit bigger for this video i'd like to give you guys a first look at it talk about some of the features some of the benefits and give you my experience on it for the past couple weeks as i've been using it getting started with some specs the jp40 pro has a capacity of 42.2 quarts or 40 liters it can be powered two different ways with a DC car charger or an AC plug that adapts to the car charger. Both are included with the fridge. The cooling range is from negative four degrees Fahrenheit to 68 degrees Fahrenheit, so it can be used as a fridge or a freezer. In Iceco's lab testing with the product, they claim the fridge can go from 77 degrees to negative four degrees in 38 minutes. Personally, I got it from 60 to zero in about 50 minutes, and that was with a couple drinks inside, so a small discrepancy, but that can be expected with any kind of lab testing compared to real world use. Usually with these off-road coolers, it's good practice to pre-chill the items and the cooler before use so it works correctly power consumption is rated at 55 watts and i found that to be consistent when plugged into my power bank the lid has a pretty cool design where it can be opened two different ways or taken off completely the fridge also has a uv sterilization light which activates every time the fridge is turned on or the lid is closed the light will run for about 30 minutes or it can be disabled by holding down the power button and setting button there's also three levels of voltage protection built into the fridge allowing you to protect whatever you're using to power the fridge I've kept mine in medium this whole time, but you can use low, you can use high to pick the max voltage that this fridge will operate at. Something cool about this fridge is also rated to be handled at 45 degrees regularly, meaning it can be tilted and it'll still work. Being an outdoors fridge, this is gonna be good all over the place. And getting around is simple enough with handles on both sides, plus a big handle and wheels on the bottom, so you can drag it around with ease. The fridge also includes an insulated cover, which you don't really see a lot with these off-road fridges. It's a two-piece case which zips together, and the zipper also has an opening on the top so you can still access the lid as well as the openings for the control buttons and the charging ports there's also pockets on the side to keep your chargers or whatever you want on the indiegogo page it also states that this fridge can fit up to 52 12 ounce cans and i tested this myself it does work but you don't fit 52 you can actually fit 54 so two more beers in there for you for the weekend now for out on the trails i took this out recently to lytle creek for a two-day camping trip and i'll say it was really nice ending my trip and not having my leftover food ruined by getting soggy and melted ice normally i'd bring two ice chests one being dedicated to drinks and the other being dedicated for food but having this fridge allowed me to keep all the food cold and protected for the long weekend we were also taking photos for ice co so we were dragging this cooler all over the place and the cool thing about that is the wheels on the back made it pretty easy to drag over dirt and rocks also the fridge was unplugged for all of that time sitting in the sun and while taking photos the temp didn't drop below 35 degrees the whole time really impressive to me considering that it was a decently warm day but overall i've enjoyed this fridge so far i'll definitely be using it on future dirt nation trips especially the trail days where i don't have to now bring an ice chest buy a bunch of ice and worry about you know cleaning up a mess afterwards this cooler is going to make things so much cleaner so much more efficient and so much better that being said this is the first look at the jp40 pro from iceco as i mentioned before this is currently being sold through an indiegogo campaign so you can check out the link below if you guys want to get a early bird offer there's currently 11 or 12 days left in that campaign so check it out get it while you can and we'll go from there but that's all i got for this video i want to thank you guys for watching make sure to subscribe to the channel follow us on instagram facebook youtube and patreon you also hit up for shirts hats hoodies and all those other goodies donation off road at gmail.com until next time thank you guys let's get it <laughs>